Hi, how you doing? I'm Keith Shannon with uh, directcarpet.com and today we're going to show you how to put on a stair runner over laminate, vinyl plank, or ceramic. This method that I'm going to show you over this laminate staircase behind me will uh, work for vinyl plank, laminate, and or ceramic. So this should cover any questions that you have, how we're going to put on the smoothage, how we're going to put on the pad, how we're going to put on the stair runner, and how we're going to finish off the stair runner. It's a little different than the other methods that we use, but uh, we'll show you a couple different things. This uh, video actually goes out to uh, a client of ours, Damon, and Damon wants to, uh, Damon actually purchased a, a stair runner from us and has a laminate staircase. He needed some tips on how to install that himself. And so the best way that I could figure out how to do that was to build a quick staircase in the direct carpet studios and actually uh, show this in real time, how to do it, how to glue the smooth edge down, how to staple things down, just all the good stuff. So stick around and uh, let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing we did is this staircase is 36 inches wide. We're going with a 28 inch wide stair runner. Now, usually when you guys watch my videos, we do not use smooth edge anymore. We usually use an electric staple gun. But in this case for vinyl plank, uh, staples will not go into most of it. They bend, they break, they jam the gun. They obviously won't go into ceramic. So we have to put on smooth edge. Now, the method I'm going to show you guys today, I am going to, I took out the nails in the previous ones and I left a few of the nails in so I can show you. We're gonna hammer into this laminate and see how hard it actually is. Now, a lot of people will ask, I don't wanna damage my laminate in case I wanna move or whatever, I want it to go back to laminate. So you can always glue it with this Flex 180 from Fasten Master, uh, just because it's really serious glue. And it'll hold these guys on without having to nail it or PL it. And in this case, since we're doing it in real time, this dries in about two minutes. So we're gonna use this, we're gonna show you how we do it. I'll nail a couple of these in. Now we've already pre-cut these down to 26 inches. If your runner is 28 inch wide, your smooth edge needs to be 26 inch wide because you want a one inch gap on each side for the carpet to roll down. Now normally when you see me do a video, you'll see me staple the side of the stair runner. You won't be able to do that on this. Now you can use a glue gun and glue, it, glue the sides down if you want, or you can just leave it to rest normally and it'll, over time, you know, a month or so, or just as it relaxes within your climate, the stair runner will actually sit and fold down. Now that's really personal preference up to you. Uh, I'm just gonna go through a couple methods and show you uh, how I think you should do it. This is the best method. Now, this is basically, I figured this out because I had to learn how to do it over ceramic and then what worked over ceramic, worked over laminate, worked over vinyl. Now, you can always check your vinyl plank with your staple gun. See if you can get a staple in there and see how that goes. Uh, besides that, uh, without further ado, let's get to this. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll measure, we'll put our 26 inch smooth edge on, then we'll put our pad, we'll glue it, then we'll put our pad, then we'll install our stair runner. And you guys are gonna get to watch this in, uh, in real time. I'll, I'll cut out as much of the fluff as I possibly can, but remember this is a tutorial video, so you know, stay to the end, watch to the end. We're gonna do the top rise, we'll measure for it, all that good stuff. And make sure that you uh, like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. And if you need a stair runner, directcarpet.com. Enough of that fluff, on with the show. Because this stair runner is uh, 36 inches wide and my smoothage is 26 inches, it's pretty self-explanatory that this will have to go five inches from, measured five inches from here and five inches from here. So get your tape measure and check your five inches there on this side, right? There's our five. I've already got the mark there. And now let's check it on this side. Five inches there, you guys can see that. So that pretty much means we're five inches all the way up. And so what I like to do instead of back and forth and back and forth, you can make yourself a little template for it, especially with the stair runner. I always use my tape measure, you guys know that. So what I would do here is I would measure off I would take a pencil, and I'd mark five inches. I'd go up to the next one, five inches, and so forth and so on. Five inches, pencil, same on the top, five inches, five inches, five inches, okay? That just makes it real easy. Now, now the first one that I'm gonna do, here, let's actually do a test. We got our stable gun, right? Let's see if a stable will go into this first. 
Now that stable seemed to go in pretty good. And that one seemed to bend, okay? So you can't really trust that the staple gun's gonna work. Now we can try it. See that? It broke the laminate actually right there. So we don't wanna really, you know, try that. You might be able to put it on, in on laminate, hard to say. But let's do this first. Now I usually like, we have to put one on the top and one on the bottom. I like to put it an inch out. Let's find our, our, our five inch mark. And this one will nail in just so you guys can see that you can do it. Okay. And then we're gonna nail that all the way along. And then we're gonna do this one straight. Has to be straight. One inch up. And we'll nail this one in two. Now the reason why we want them straight is when we tuck our carpet runner in here, we want it to be uniform up, uniform over, and straight. Some of you will have nosings that are bigger than this. We're just gonna go with these today. Damon stick out a little bit, but there's no place for him to staple up underneath the nose. So let's move on to the next one. Now, as you can see guys, these are for hardwood flooring and more. These uh, Fasten Master Flex 180 Hot Melt Construction Adhesive. Uh, they're really great. I use them all the time. Uh, you can see that the guy in the picture here is uh, actually gluing down a piece of hardwood. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this to stick on to the laminate. Uh, and we're gonna show you that now. Now you can do this with ceramic too, or if you want, you can obviously use uh, PL Premium, which you get from Home Depot or wherever, any of your uh, big box stores, small box stores, everyone's got it. PL Premium works amazing. I use that on ceramic all the time. But today we're gonna use Fasa Master Flex 180. The pins here face the riser, the pins on the top face the tread. Okay, so we're just gonna take our glue gun and we're gonna put glue all the way along like this. Now this stuff sets pretty quick and it's very hot, so I don't wanna get it on my hands. So let's put this, we've got our mark one inch away. Okay, press down. Okay, and let that set. And then we'll do the top one here, same thing. Remember, pins facing down for the top one. Pins facing the riser on the bottom. On the top, pins face the tread. Okay, now we're just gonna do this nice and easy. Pins facing down, lined up, even spaced, push. Love that glue. Push. All right, very nice. We'll move on to the next one. Now, no guarantee you'll be able to pull this stuff off later. This is pretty serious, but if you're putting a stair runner down, you're probably gonna just replace it with a new one eventually down the road, or you're gonna sell your house and there's nothing to worry about. So let's put this one, pins facing in, spaced out at five inches, nice and straight, one inch back, press down, put that in, amazing. Let's put another glue stick in the back here. This is a serious glue gun. Okay, we're gonna put it all along the back. Remember these smooth edges are at 26 inches because our stair runner is 28. If you have a 24 inch stair runner, you're gonna make it 22 inches. Same with the underpad. Okay, this one's upside down, pins facing forward. Watch the fingers, line it up, one inch up, nice and straight. Very nice, boom. Gives you a couple minutes to set it to the 180 because it's about 180 seconds to set. Push in, set. Pins facing in, lined up on our five inch mark, one inch out, press down until she sticks. Very nice, let's do the top one. I'll leave uh, the link to the description down for this glue. Okay, that's it. Now we're not gonna put one along the top riser there. We're gonna pretend 
that this is on this staircase, that this is the upper hall, okay? Or your landing, and that we're gonna just bring our, our riser uh, right under here, and we're gonna finish off here. So instead of uh, putting a piece of smoothage here, we're just gonna take that hot melt glue, and we're gonna glue this riser on after, okay? One thing I'd like to point out is we are gonna put one stick on the bottom riser here because we can't staple it in, right? Usually on a normal staircase, we would just staple it in. But we don't have a normal staircase. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure over five inches. This is where you'll be able to staple in your bottom stair, especially if it's on ceramics, right? On anything you can't staple. So when we do ceramics, we will put one right at the bottom here so then we can put a staple in each. Yes, there's a little gap, but this is how we has to be done on a situation like this. Now you're gonna see it all. So let's just put that in. Let's get it glued. All right, we've got our mark, pins facing down, touching the floor. We're just gonna push that in and let that set. So we've got all our smoothage set up on our staircase. It's glued in, set at 26 inches wide because our stair runner is 28 inches wide. And now we're gonna cut for our under pad. So our under pad is going to be 26 inches wide as well. Now, one thing I forgot to mention, you're gonna need smooth edge. You're not gonna wanna, wanna buy a complete box of it. So you can actually go to your big box stores and they'll have little packages. So if you need, let's say you need six pieces or you have six stairs, you need 12 pieces. If you have 12 stairs, you need 24 pieces, so forth and so on. All right, we've got our under pad cut down to 26 inches, okay? We're obviously, we're not gonna wrap the nose here. We're gonna take our glue gun again. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna line this up all the way along and I'm gonna glue this edge. Okay, I'm lined up on my smooth edge over here. I'm just gonna push down and put this in. Now, some guys in some places like to use tuck tape on the edge. So why don't we do that? It's very sticky and very good. And it doesn't do too much crunching like some other tapes. Stick that on, we've got our glue there. I'm just gonna stick this over. Push it all the way down. Okay, and now we've got a nice pad stuck to the front. Now we're not gonna glue anything on the back there. You can put a little dab if you like. Little dab, little dab, little dab. Let it fold in there. We're gonna take a nice sharp blade and we're gonna cut our under pad right against our smooth edge, okay? Nice and careful, nice and easy. Take your time. Okay. Stick that down. Stuck on the front. Now that's exactly how we want our first stair to look. Okay, now we're gonna complete the process all the way up. Let's do stair number two. All right, now if you think you got it, you guys can fast forward, but uh, I'm gonna keep going here. Okay, so same thing, I've got my under pad. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue along the front. Okay, I'm gonna slide it into place, nice and even along the front nose. And then just in case, I'm gonna put a piece of tuck tape all the way along the front, and then wrap it down, hold it into place. That way when you go up, it won't fold the under pad, right? It's glued and it's got the tape. Okay, take a sharp blade, cut that off against the smooth edge. And then we'll continue to finish the rest of the way up.
Now, we've got the smooth edge put on. We have got the under pad put on. Now we are ready to do our stair runner. Now the tools that we're gonna be using to put in our stair runner today are going to be a kicker. We're gonna use that electric staple gun for the bottom. Yes, yes you can glue it, but I'm gonna staple it because I want it really secure. If I glue it and it moves, it'll slip. So we're gonna use the electric staple gun. We're gonna need a few staples for that gun. Sharp knife, great pair of scissors, a tucker, a hammer, a tape measure, and are you ready? Let's do it. Now first things first, we're gonna roll out our stair runner. with the pile facing down. Now when you get a stair runner from us, I will mark on here which way it's facing. Usually the arrows will go this way. It'll say start here at the bottom. You can see the pile is facing down. So we are going to run this pile down. The bottom is sewn. We're gonna walk it up our stairs and into our hall at the top just to hold it in place so it doesn't roll down. Let's have a look at that. So we've got our stair runner on there, and now we're going to just center it by eye a little bit. Right, we're going to put our fingers underneath. You guys have seen that trick before. Now remember that under pad under there is all lined up, correct? Let's have a look. That under pad is an inch back on each side, correct? It's an inch back on this side, and it's an inch back on this side. So how I do this to kind of get my positioning, I take my hands, you have that little, you have that little groove on your index finger with your thumb touching that, right? You can now go on each side, touch the smooth edge, put your fingers there, and look at that. I'm almost perfectly even on both sides, so I can just kind of center this to make this easy and kind of pre-center it. I can take my fingers, put them under with my thumbs, right? Get it kind of pre-centered, makes it easier after. And look at that. So I did that, I did that little finger trick, and now she's centered. Now, I do want you to get a tape measure on it. If we were five inches before, we should be four inches now, correct? Four inches there at the bottom. Right, because we were five before. We're an inch over, let's check this side. Four and an eighth, so we're just gonna split the difference because nothing is ever perfect. But basically, we're good to go four inches. We went five inches on this wall all the way up. Now we're gonna go four inches all the way up that side there. I will check the other side, but most of the time, I'm gonna check here and see where I'm at. about four and an eighth. So that's what we're gonna do. So now, let's get this bottom one started, okay? Let's try to give you a really good view. Now we've already lined it up. Now you can see, now yeah, there's carpet here, but usually you would have hardwood. So you can see that our finished edge is there. And what we wanna do is we wanna get that in line, make sure that we, you know, there we are, four, should be about four and an eighth I'd figured. So we're four and an eighth. We'll double check the other side, just to make sure. Yeah, four and an eight. So now that we're in good standing and that we have the piece of smooth edge behind here, remember, we have that piece of smooth edge behind. That's what we're gonna staple into because if this was ceramic, you would have to do the same thing as well. So we're centered, four and an eighth. Right, we're gonna take our electric staple gun, we're gonna wiggle a little bit and we're gonna pop that staple right in. Every inch or so. So now we'll take this there, all the way down. Now remember, stop at that inch, okay? Now we're gonna take our hammer and we're gonna bang all those pins in. Because what that does, it'll bend the pin in and hold that stair runner on. Now 
Now look at that, it's nice and straight, looks good, looks clean. Let's give you guys a view of it here. Okay, look at it, very nice. That could be in ceramic right now, that's over laminate, looks good. Now we're gonna take our kicker and we're gonna kick it into the smooth edge there. All right, four and an eighth, four and an eighth, we're good. We're gonna take our kicker, we're gonna set our teeth out a little bit, we're gonna put a little pressure on this, okay? I'm gonna get this into position and we're just gonna give it a little kick right in center. Then we're gonna move to the left or to the right, okay, until this is nice and snug. Now I want you to have a look. This is snug. It's a little loose here because of the lip, right? You're not gonna be able to do anything, but still tight, right, or taut. So this is how we want it to look. We're gonna double check our measurements because this is where we can course correct before we secure it. Four and an eighth, four and an eighth. So now we're gonna take our tucker or our carpet tool and our hammer. And remember, we have those two pieces of smoothage in there. We're just gonna tap that down right in the groove. Nice and tight, right? Now listen, our, our edges are loose. Now you can leave the edges loose like this, or we can put a bead of glue in after when we're done. But let's, uh, I'll show you that when we're done. Let's keep moving on and make sure that this thing is in straight. Because remember, it's not glued. We can actually pull it out of there if we wanted to. It's just tacked into those pieces of smooth edge. So let's now move this up over and see. Now, no staircase is ever straight. Some will go left, some will go right. So this is where we will course correct with our tape measure. Now, like I said, you can always make a little template. If it's four inches, make a four inch template out of a piece of underpad or something like that. Now, why don't we do that now? Here's a little template out of the under pad. Right, there we go. We know we wanna be there. So let's take that kicker of ours and let's kick another stair. Pretty tight, pretty good. Now this is where you can tighten up things too. If you want to tighten up the bottom, you can always take your tucker and your hammer and hit that down. And that'll snug that front up. And now we will hammer that back in. Nice and tight, right? Remember, our, uh, we're open here, right? Because we can't staple into laminate, we can't staple into vinyl, and we can't staple into uh, ceramic. So like I said at the end, we'll put a bead of glue there if we want to push this down. Okay, otherwise this is just gonna settle naturally anyways, okay? I wouldn't even worry about it. Okay, so let's do the next one. It's not hard, look at this. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, we're gonna pull our stair runner back a little bit. Okay, same thing, let's check our measurement. We'll take our, uh, our little template, throw it on the other side. Keeping the stair runner straight is really the most important thing. So we're gonna tighten up down at the bottom again. Okay, you can always bang the smoothies in, keep it tight. Right, those little pins there, don't have to. Now, let's take our tucker on a 45, and we're gonna bang that in. Now, 
Nice and tight. All right, let's set up for the next. Put our template up there. Oopsie, look at that, a little tight. You guys see that? Starting to turn a little bit to the left. So we're getting a little bit bigger gap over there than we are there. So we have to course correct. As you guys are all gonna have those similar problems, I have those problems all the time. tight there so we want to take our kicker on an angle this way without twisting too much because you have to course correct gently over one or two stairs you sometimes can't always course correct on one so all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna push over on this angle here till this piece of pad fits in there which it is so I'm just gonna tag that in a little bit and then work my way along Right now, let's see. Did we course correct? See the back where the pad is? Fits, course corrected. We went on an angle a little bit over. So now we just want to secure that and make sure that we're in good standing. Course correction is part of the game. Nothing ever goes on straight. Now, if you're using PL to put that smooth edge on, remember, we use that, uh, that uh, quick melt glue. Now, that's some serious glue, and it seems to work very well on the vinyl plank. Sometimes with ceramics, sometimes with ceramics, ceramics are cold, and not even PL will stick. So you'll have to test your methods and make sure, you know, PL you should leave over, uh, overnight for 24 hours, uh, but you could check that uh, hot melt glue. If she sticks, she sticks. Right? Everybody's climate is different. If you're doing anything, you wanna use the right tools, you wanna to use the right glue, you know, that's just life. That's just the way it is. So if you think you're gonna get by and you're just gonna go do another method, you're gonna use a, a brad nailer or something. I see these people trying to put stair runners on with brad nailers. Um, I guess. I guess whatever floats your boat. Okay, last stair. Before we get to the riser, let's do that. Okay, we're gonna check. We're looking good over here. Let's have a look. See our little template there? We can take our tape measure. All right, we can take our tape measure. Just double check. What does she say? Ooh, look at that, four. We'll just twist it over a little bit. She right on the mark, four and an eight. Listen, no one's ever gonna know if you're off an eighth of an inch. With a tape measure, they will, but they're never gonna, you're never gonna see that by eye. So don't worry about that. And here we go. Now, guys, we're gonna just kick this in. Make sure she's nice and tight. Look at that, nice and tight in the front. We're gonna take our hammer and tucker. Now remember that top, there is no uh, smooth edge on that top piece. Just put one on the bottom. Okay, now I've got all this extra stair runner. I'm just gonna cut it off and get rid of the bolt out of my way because we're gonna do the last top riser in a minute. What I want to do is I just want to get that uh, grooved in there. I want to take a sharp knife, be very careful, cut it on the 45. I'm going to pull my riser out of there. Okay, and I'm going to take my electric stable gun. And remember, I have smooth edge there. I'm going to wiggle it, and I'm just going to pop in a few staples to hold that last one down. Okay, so that's not gonna come out. And then we're gonna cut this top riser. Because remember, we're just going in here. Pretend this is the upper hall, right? Or you're landing or wherever. In Damon's case, this would be his one of his landings. And then other people, and then maybe on this top flight, this is his top hall. We're gonna measure for this top riser and we're gonna put it in. How I like to measure from my stair riser, I like to measure from under here 
to right down to the riser. So right under the nose of whatever your stair nosing is to the bottom of the riser. I have five and five eighths. I'm gonna check the other side here. You always wanna check both. I have five and five eighths. So it's nice and straight. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna measure that riser to five and five eighths. We said five and five eighths. So we're gonna measure from the finished end here to five and five eighths and mark it with a pencil. We'll do the same thing on the other side, five and five eighths. Then we're gonna take some sort of straight edge. We're gonna line up those two marks. All right, then we're gonna take our scissors. Now, when we do this, we almost wanna do this. Another eighth up here. Mark that. Okay. Now on the outside, because the carpet comes up in, I'm gonna show you this in a minute. Now watch, I'm gonna line this up here at my five and five eighths, but then I'm gonna cut up shallow, maybe an eighth of an inch up. And I'm gonna cut all along that secondary line. Now be very careful, because you only have one riser and you don't wanna be calling me back to get another riser. So make sure your measurements are perfect. Now watch, I'm gonna swing back down so that this thing, can you see it's got a little loop? That way that part on both ends will go right into this here. You guys see this here? Right, that end will go right into that end and the other end will go right into that end and fit nice and tight along there. Let's see it in real time, in real action here. Okay. Nice, nice. Now a little, it's a little tight on this end. Let's see, let me push it down and get it right under there. Oh, look at that, nice, nice. Okay, now it's a lot easier if you can staple this with your staple gun, but we're gonna glue this. You can use double face tape, but we're gonna glue this, okay? We got a couple minutes to work with it. So let's just pull it out, lay it there so we don't get any glue on the table. Let's take our glue gun and let's put some glue all along the bottom. Not too close. On the side, at the top, all the way along, not too close to the top because you don't want it to bleed out and all across the middle. Okay, that's enough. Gives us a minute. Put our glue gun down. Gives us a minute, not really a minute, but now we're gonna just flip that back up, push that back down underneath where it needs to be. Okay. Push that in. Push that against, oh boy, look at that. Woo, Nelly, looking good. Feed that in, that corner, make sure it looks like it's one piece of carpet that's always been there. Good Lord, does that look good. Top riser, glued in, nice and finished, on laminate. All the stairs kicked in nice and tight. Looks amazing. This is ancient treasure, if anyone is wondering. It is on our website at directcarpet.com if you're interested in your own stair runner and you're interested in this color. Now, like we said, you might wanna glue these sides down. I'm not gonna bother. You know what? This is just gonna fold over and relax anyways because um, you're not gonna glue this in, right? With your nose, especially if your nose sticks out a little bit, you're gonna have that gap behind there. Uh, feel free to glue it. Now, if you guys have any questions or anything, feel free to drop me uh, a line at support at directcarpet.com or on the YouTube channel. So Damon, I hope I answered your question with how to install your stair runner. Now, your stair runner is Anderson Tough Tech's uh, a Dreamscape Pelican. Now it is a little tougher than the carpet that we're using. Your backing on your carpet, Damon, is the, uh, the felt back. 
the Anderson Tough Tex felt back. You have to put a little bit more elbow grease into that one when you do it. But uh, I hope that uh, helped. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me uh, and I'll help guide you through uh, whatever you need. I hope this video was everything that, uh, that you needed to complete your staircase. And please, when you finish your staircase, throw up a picture on uh, directcarpet.com uh, so we can all see uh, how you did. I'd love to see that uh, pelican on your staircase. Today we got through how to install a stair runner on a laminate staircase, how to install a stair runner on a vinyl plank staircase, and how to install a stair runner over ceramics on stairs. So this method will work on all three of those. Please, you know, leave a, leave a note in the comments and tell me what you think. Loved it, hated it, whatever. Directcarpet.com if you're looking for a stair runner. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. I'm Keith Shannon with directcarpet.com. See ya.